Okay, this is my video uh, for February 2nd, 2021. Uh, yesterday for 2 one twenty one, February 1st, I called that Dream Day, and I made a video about thinking about the future and prayer. It was supposed to be a, you know, about really deep prayer and a day to dream about yourself um, on the future, where, what, what are we going to be like in 2121, the year 2121, a hundred years from now. And, uh, I thought it was, it was nice. And, and then, so when I have found in my life, and I think this is going to be true for most everybody, cause I'll talk about a video that came to me after I did that, you know, cause I'm thinking I need to start working on something something I'm supposed to do in my 60th year, now I'm 61. Uh, that was m my prophecy to myself back in 1979 or 1980 when I got out of my Christian walk where I was 24 seven immersed in the spirit with with nothing, um, you know, trying to live. I did have a car, and the group I was with, we used that car for a while till the car just got. I lost the car, and so we continued to continued our walk. It's a whole another story. You can see it on my blog called Elgin Carp at Blogspot. That history is there. Uh, I talked about how God. Uh, inspired me as very young. I think as as little as five. I had a, my mother very Catholic. So we had the little statues in the house, and I remember looking at the Virgin Mary, and who knows, maybe there was a Saint Christopher who had Jesus on the wall. And uh, I, I think I I love that, and that was the purpose of that indoctrination from my mother. You know, going to catechism, and learning about Jesus and praying and about being good and you know and learning what what are what are things that are good like being nice to people being polite saying please and thank you and then always uh, saying your prayers at night that's like step one when you're a little kid to believe uh, in Santa Claus the Easter Bunny and to believe in Jesus Christ and then we learn that, you know, we find out about the Easter Bunny and and all that, and yet Jesus Christ remains. Uh, there could be a, a good purpose to having those stories told that allow us to, to be able to separate the truth from the fiction. Jesus remains. And uh, anyway, so... I found in my life that positive thinking brings positive results. I I learned that in my Jesus walk that I could trust God, and I was safe in a living a lifestyle that I I could have easily <laughs> I could have easily been killed or something hit by a car. Uh, taken by bad guys and just beat up nothing like that happened thank you god he i trusted him and it worked out i came back went to school okay all that now today after posting that video a day to dream uh and i talked about how uh i asked google i said hey google uh what do i want to know and google wrote back i want to know what love is and they did that in the form of a video. Now, you can say, hey, you know, Google knows I like videos. It knows I like 70s music. Uh, and it responded to me with the words, I want to know. What do I want to know? And it pulled up a video because it knows that I like music videos, thinking maybe I, uh, you know, just used its algorithms to figure out I want to know what love is. Must be what I'm asking for the video and the song. Then underneath that was another video, which I didn't watch, but underneath that, 
answer was why does how do or is it why does why does Google know everything about me and I I kind of know why and I believe that you know the the people who put together these computer algorithms especially in Google they know about personality inventories I believe that they're constantly looking at us and that was affirmed tonight and I'm going to talk about some shows I saw tonight so there's there's information coming to me and the reason this is is a a a a fact I think it's like a fact like gravity uh, that uh, if you put out a positive awareness you put out a positive vibe and you 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 try to see all the good in the world and you're thankful for what you have and you thank God every for every little thing I take a shower I know what it's like not to have a, sh a shower to take <laughs> or a, a bathroom even or a bed I know what it's like not to have a bed I know what it's like not to have a place to out out from the outdoors I know uh, I'm becoming honest because I'm getting old and these, these things I finally have to admit to I had a really good life I was a pharmacist that all changed in 2007 and by 2011 I was on my on the verge of going homeless and I did and so I know what it's like to to lose everything and I still because of my upbringing but God blessed me with this great information about positive thinking and to be thankful and I mean by the time this happened to me I I was mentally and emotionally ready and I remember in, in uh, one of the the homes I was in uh, where there's other homeless people and we got to spend the night there uh, they said I had a car I still had my car and the people there the guys there said Joseph you, you drive around with this big smile on your face and they, they just they just cracked him up they said you know you're like this homeless guy you got nothing but you, you got this big smile on your face I said I am so happy I I just want to be happy I I learned uh, uh, through I think it's Tony Robbins you know neuro linguistics be happy but I also learned about uh, that how miserable you could become if all you look at is that is that your miserable self and you call as you say look at my miserable life look at my miserable belongings look at how miserable I am that makes you miserable and the, <laughs> so it's better to do the reverse and say oh thank you for a shower you know I I thank God that there's a an alarm in my car that lets me know that I left my key in the ignition before I locked the door Thank you, God, because I know what it's like to have to fork out 70 or 80 bucks to get your car unlocked. And uh, so no matter what happens, I can st I, I want to stay happy and I want to look at every little thing. And as I was saying, I feel like, you know, I have too much. I have really not much at all, but I have so many things to be thankful for. And I'm not going to go into that. Look at your life. And I did watch a movie that maybe some of you will remember this movie or the book. It's called The Secret. Now it was, uh, it's a film from 2006. So I wish I, I don't know if I, I didn't need to know that film in 2006. Maybe I would have done things differently. Maybe I would have put more effort into positive thinking. But I was on the downward hill, downward, boom, boom, boom. Things happening to me. Everything felt falling apart by 2007. So The Secret is a movie that lays out this idea that the powerful people the richest people the most successful people kept this secret to themselves and now it's out so they made a, a movie about it it's like a documentary but the secret is be positive it's a new age uh, a new age uh, <laughs> philosophy and you have to be careful because I found out I did go to some meditations and with some people who meditated and I realized they didn't talk about Jesus and so I would meditate by uh, thank to if you read my blog there's a there's a person I called Shamanestra who who actually gave this to me that um, you know to always protect yourself with your angels so we have I call on my angels to protect me from any evil sources that are going to come in, in, in infect my positive 
being so that my outcomes become infected. So you want protections. You don't want to accidentally start praying to the evil power in the world to get your goodies. But, but mainly it's just about being thankful for what you have and be and and tell you and be happy uh, just be happy and it takes a lot of works i think it for some people it would take a lot of work but after years and years of 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 practicing these things i have uh become a pretty happy person like i do have depression but um i i i i really truly like to pull myself up, put my arm, it's called neuro linguistic, put a smile, look straight and, and, uh, you know, be self aware of how just wonderful it is to be on this planet and how wonderful it is to be in America. There is no better place in the world to be, uh, down and out than in America. It's a place where you still, you can pick yourself up by the bootstraps and thanks to the socialist, uh, agendas that came back a hundred years ago, we have things to kind of help us. And the problem is when you become reliant on the welfare as a form of lifestyle that you can't break away from that, that could be a problem. But you, you know, I felt that I was allowed to use it because I made so much money, paid so much taxes. So I only, <laughs> I've used so little of maybe what I paid into that program when I was down and out. So yes, now I work. I'm, you could say I'm now at the age of retirement, so I have a retirement job, which is part-time, and it's not very good pay, but God, oh, I have money. I buy things. I have too much. I have too much things. I have a car. and <laughs> I have a place to live. Uh, this was a class I took because I wanted to do memes on Facebook. So uh, getting back to the things that came to me today after putting out a positive statement on the Internet, uh, saying, hey, you know, this is stuff you can do. That's what my blog is about, is is, I believe I've been given a lot of tools of how to to uh, pick yourself up. And I've been put into a lowly place where I can use these or at least tell people that I don't know if they're going to work for me or I don't even know if the life I'm living now is pretty good. It's not a lot, but it's all right. You know, uh, wish it, I, I don't want to say I wish it were better, but maybe there's something better coming, you know. Uh, so I took that class because I'm hoping maybe I can do something to turn a profit with with me. And because God has given me a lot of information that I want to give to you. And one thing I want to tell you about is the movie called The Secret. And if you haven't seen it, it really is a philosophy that I learned a long time ago. Which is, be thankful. Be happy. You can decide to be happy. You can decide to not complain, but to be thankful when you catch yourself complaining. Stop it. Think of good things. And if you watch the movie, they'll tell you to write down things like what I am so happy that I am so thankful because and and you write those things down and my thing I, I showed in my last video I showed you a little card I had up that said 100% and then I looked in the camera and said because I'm not 100% it's something I would like to be can you imagine being 100% and I think I heard Tony Robbins say that. He said, can you imagine if you could be 100% of who you are all 100% of the time? It's like, wow, yeah. It would be a phenomenon, you know? All your talent, all your knowledge, all your abilities, whatever you have going for you, just all, all the time. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, so uh, tonight, uh, my landlord came by and he's, he's in the stock market. We just had that big Reddit. Uh, the people, I think they're, they have a name, the people on Reddit, and it's like stock market bets or something like that, that did the thing that, that they beat the, the big investors to the punch when it came to the investors who were short, shorting the stocks. They saw it and they took advantage of it and <laughs> they had to shut down Robin Hood, uh, the finance place, Robin Hood had to shut down uh, selling or something so that 
the little guys couldn't make money on they they beat the big guys and so they they knocked them out of the game and so it's a big scandal it's going to be a big lawsuit uh, uh, the Robin Hood site shouldn't have done that to all these people that were nobodies that were going to make money because Robin Hood was protecting the big investors who were losing money and and and, and it, it exposed that it's a corrupt market and so anyway I still want to get I used to be play the stock market and I got I did really well in it uh, the money's all gone now because like I said 2007 phew. anyway wiped out but I thought I was pretty good at it and I'm with the little money I make I actually have money I can do start a little something and he's telling me my, he's doing all right his kids are doing all right. they've got into the stock market right now and it's crazy so uh, that is coming into my life this thought that yes I can play the stock market maybe it'll help financially and uh, the other thing is in the secret is it's the law of attraction if you are positive if you are thinking of things that make you feel good about yourself then you attract those things and see they were saying the secret that the universe rallies around you it's they they, they their metaphor was the genie in Aladdin the universe is the genie and when you put out something like oh my gosh my day is just getting worse and worse and the universe says your wish is my command and then your day gets worse and worse this was in this, this movie you need to see it 2006 the secret and then they say like but if you say i'm happy that things are coming to me everything's lining up and everything's building and, and you can actually dream you know create a dream that you want to you want to watch a dream happen that your dream the universe will bring it to you and you just have to be ready for it and aware of it um, and and i realized that i'm not in a position to say it worked for me but i believe it works and that movie says it works and i've i believe it i do believe it and uh so there was that movie that came plus the guy telling me to get in the stock market telling me what 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 to do and uh and then on top of it i quit this course uh, uh last year I, I i learned enough that i realized i could learn it on my own if, and i if i really wanted to i can learn it without going to community college the software costs money though and so the last thing i got from that place the reason i quit was they made me uh, one of the courses was how to start a business and i was i don't want to start a business i just want to learn how to do this and enjoy it I, but but I will want to start a business with it at some point. So I have that book. I have that. I have that resource of how to start a business. It's a it's a nice little workbook, but it, it it's not like a, let's pretend we're going to start a, a business. It's like you do this book. The first page is like here we go. Go out and get this information. Put get this information. Start making these this business. Uh, and and then you then you go out and you sell that business to investors to people who might give you money to help you start your business so and i just wasn't ready for that at least not then so i'm telling you i'm t do you know why i'm telling you this is this what's my blog is about it's a journey and what i've learned in my journey is god is real i love praying to god through jesus i believe that the jesus he says our father and we ask this in Jesus name so I believe we're we're praying to God and God is Jesus and Jesus is God and I I don't believe they're two separate entities other I believe in the Holy Trinity that it doesn't make any sense that I think the way to play to, to talk about the Holy Trinity is like an egg and there's other things you can do like there's so many things in the universe an egg is an egg but it's composed of three things it's got a shell it's got the whites and it's got the yolk <laughs> and that's three in one it's still everything in that egg is an egg I, I guess the shell is i don't know what you do with egg shells but it's all there so god is one god is jesus god is holy spirit god is spirit and the universe is god and i don't want to go down the road of the what do they call those uh, prophet evangelists um 
materialistic evangelists who, like Olstein, they're saying like, hey, you have this power that Jesus and God has given us to create wealth in your life. I, I don't want to think of it that way. You know, it should be the other way around is what you're giving to the world brings uh, some wealth to your wife. Maybe, maybe a lot of wealth, but I don't know. It just shouldn't be about the money. And I think there's books on that that to say that you're actually um, contributing and giving back. And there's something about giving tithing, which I didn't real I did not do that. And maybe that's why I kind of lost everything, because maybe God God got sick of me waiting to give up some of my money to the poor and to the neat and to the to the widows and to the infirmed and the people in jail. And I just never got around to it. And dang it, maybe that was it. Anyway, my teacher called me today. I, I quit this, oh, last February or something. I said, I can't do this anymore. It's the COVID, or March. COVID was in. We had to learn online. And then I have to do this book online. And I'm like, I'm not going to do this anymore. And I quit. I learned that I could do this. So she asked me if I've done anything with what I've learned. And I said, not really, because I can't afford the software. But I did create, because my son showed me how to set up. Oh, I've got elgincarp.com, elgincarp emails. I have elgincarp blog, uh, elgincarp YouTube. I have elgincarp Facebook. I don't even know what else, because like this, this thing gave me a domain name. And I just haven't done anything with it yet. I better check on it though soon. So, uh, you know, maybe if you read my blog, this what a, this journey is amazing to me. It's like all of a sudden, there's like little things start happening, and maybe and I know a lot of you guys, my age, my friends, you, you're set, you're good, you're good. Well, it didn't happen to me. And there's probably a lot of people like me, where it didn't work out like it was supposed to. It's my fault, you know. I I made bad decisions, and but it doesn't mean the game's over. Uh, I do kind of get complicit because it's happy. I'm happy. I'm happy where I am. I have a stupid song about that that I wrote when I was a kid. It's like I predicted this. Uh, I'm just happy where I am. And it's, <laughs> I wrote that when I was like 24 years old. That I didn't want to take chances and risks. I'm just happy where I am. And, uh, you know, it's not a good song in a way because it's not good. Uh, you want to give people the incentive to do things because I think in my blog there's something about that I am intention without motion it's like I think it's it's like saying uh, you know a lot of good thoughts but they need to be translated into action thoughts without action is it's like stagnation I guess anyway so that was kind of cool that the teacher asked me to remember what I could do with this this knowledge of Photoshop and it's something I said I, I did I wanted to make memes I wanted to maybe you know become a cartoonist on Facebook in a way as a satirist a satirist a uh, meme maker about politics and uh, and I also would like to do videos where I'm talking about the news and what what I'm learning on the news and just, I know there's people who can do it better than me, but what if I have something good to offer? And uh, I've been I've been playing a lot of guitar, and I, you know, YouTube is so good. It's you learn you can do learn so much on YouTube. I'm having so much fun L learning songs that I should have learned when I was a kid. And if YouTube would have been around back then, we'd all be rock stars, right? Uh, because you can you can learn everything how to from how to play lead guitars to just rhythms and uh, there's all this stuff on this this beautiful box you can download sound systems now where you can you know people are creating music in their in their in their bedroom and, and, <laughs> and in their living rooms it just it's amazing and all this amazing technology and that's what I'm saying what's 2121 going to be like but right now things are clicking for me uh, it, it, it's it's uh, I'm and so the the movie The Secret, I think there's the next step is to actually to when these things happen is to get a hold of them, and that's where my downfall has been. 
is the action. And I wrote about that in my blog, and it's it's a tough thing for me because I'm just happy where I am. It's, it's so comfortable. And anyway, uh, I almost forgot what I'm making this about. The next show that I saw, so I see this movie, The Secret, and I go, yeah, I know all this stuff. Positive thinking, be thankful, uh, write down, make make those uh, dream posters of you know the things you want in your life. Uh, when you get older, it's not so much as, as wanting this beautiful, you know, 18-speed bike or something. It's, it's, it's bigger than that. You know, you want to design your life, your dream life. You know, beautiful marriage, wonderful home, great kids, kids that had kids, uh, holidays with grandkids and stuff like that. Beautiful. Yeah, and it happens all the time, but not for me. <laughs> anyway, so then I turn on this next series on Netflix... And I only have Netflix because people let me on their Netflix, and it's I I, I love that. I, I I I really would love to be able to buy my own Netflix, but it's it's a lot of money to me. To me, it's like like a lot of money. Anyway, on Netflix is interconnected, or something about being connected and it's a series where this guy goes out and finds connections in our world about us and uh, it's on Netflix and the first show was about almost the same idea of the universe of the, in the secret about that uh, there's a connection that we have with all kinds of things and they talk about animals and then uh, uh, and and I I can't even you know I'm gonna I might have to stop this video and cut this part because I'm having trouble remembering what was so great about that is that it sort of reinforced that idea that there exists in the universe this 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 connection that we have that it, it gives us information we receive information we put out information and it it was kind of amazing <laughs> another one I saw was on on it's called digits and he talks about this uh, uh, this law that it's a mathematical law in statistics where 30% of everything, if you looked at a graph, goes like this. They found out that in numbers, no matter where you go, if it's one, like if you look at how many people on Facebook have 100,000 followers or 182 followers, most of the numbers of friends that people are going to have, it's going to start with a one. And people might know this law. He was talking about taxes, that the, the taxes use this to, to find the cheaters because if it doesn't follow this rule, that the numbers start with a 1. And then further down is 2, 3, you know, you know it goes uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And it's this nice, beautiful curve. And when in anything happens where that curve doesn't happen, then there's fraud. And I bet you... I bet you if you see the watch the statisticians, the political statistic, statisticians who are looking at the the voting in these five or six uh, states where Trump should have won, and they will look at that and they know that that rule didn't happen. That means that there was fraud, and the IRS catches people using this rule, and and it's uh, I. For, <laughs> I'll have to find the name, but I'll have to put it down below or something because it was really cool. And everything is like that. Everything in the universe follows this sequence. That the, well, everything starts with one when they look at um, population. 30% <laughs> of the populations are going to be a number that starts with a one. And that's a big chunk because then there's other two thirds. And then the rest fall under that. So there, this is the biggest amount by a long ways. And then it smooths out. So everything starts with a one in the universe. <laughs> and uh, that was really interesting. 
So I'm going to put that down there. But first of all, if you don't know the book or the or the documentary, The Secret, I encourage you. It's something that I learned about <laughs> through my journey that I incorporated into my lifestyle, into my psyche, that I always want to be happy and I always want to be thankful and I work hard at that and you got to make it such a habit what happens I think is when you when you start being thankful and positive about the things in your life it's like suddenly all you see are the good things uh, suddenly all you see are the good things and the bad things just don't really get your attention and they don't have any power over you so to speak and and I'm not saying this is like some kind of superpower like if you're in, a, in an abusive relationship or something I mean you, you, you got to do something or uh, if you're having troubles at work with employer with employee fellow employees or employers you know you're gonna have to go to HR and try to be smart about it you know you don't always win those battles because popularity in workplaces and I guess they call that politics I call it popularity if you're not in, in like you know the worst people endear themselves to the highest people in our workspace it, it seems like I've seen that a lot like now right now I work in a great place because everybody's very happy where I work it's it's wonderful uh, it's the happiest job I've ever had the people in this place are happy the 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 bosses they they bring us meals they put out food for us they're always giving us celebrations for stuff and it's I've never worked in a place that did that and you want to know where it is Home Depot and I bet you that's nationwide Home Depot treats their employees so well they make they make you happy to be there so I and maybe that's only our store I mean I could be wrong but that's the happiest place I've ever worked everybody's pretty pretty dang happy and they don't complain a lot so don't complain my son Justin who's autistic he's 28 years old now but he, he's like a kid but he has a famous line which I put on Facebook a long time ago and I'll never forget it he said complaining just brings you bad luck and I'm like that came out of him I don't know where he got it, but complaining just brings you bad luck, and that's what the secret is. If you complain, then things are going to be bad. <laughs> You're creating that in your world. You're creating things to complain about. Stop complaining. Try to find the good things. You know, look at the silver lining and then amplify it. You know, make that make that your focus. So that's it. Um, I'm still on my journey. I was just looking at my blog and I wanted to get a video on there about what I'm doing now because this was the word that I was given when I got out of my Christian walk of faith. And there's another, <laughs> some people call it a cult, and it was. But I was given that. I, God put me in that. And you can hear my story. I, God was telling me. I want you to do this. And when I got out, I was so mad at him. Oh, I can't tell you how mad I was. I just felt like, oh, I, I was just so mad. I never stopped believing in him. I was just really mad. But I did feel that once I broke free of the brainwashing, which happened in a matter of weeks, because um, I, I chose to get, they said, you need to be brainwashed. I said, I'll do it, whatever it takes. Whatever Jesus, God wants me to do, I'll do it. And I did it, 100%. And when it was over, um, I I wasn't attached to it somehow because I con it was my thing, and it was over. And it was like, uh, okay, it, it had some re residual. It's take I still have residuals from it, but you know, I I I came out of it. But the thing I got right away was what hap What that all was going to a Christian school. Having this love of God and this need to know God, desire to find God, to where I joined a, a a a group that said they knew God and they knew that I did that. I don't. 
if I tell you what happened, people get the wrong idea because it was actually, I think it was a great experience. It was a horrible experience for my family because they didn't know where I was. And, but they found me, thank God. And they consider that a miracle. They, I think that's a sign to go. Love you, peace, be thankful. Write down the good things in your lives and focus that. God bless you all. Amen. Bye-bye.